Hey guys, I am back again for another Star Wars figure review, and it's going to be a quick one if I can get this out the way as fast as I can. So these are two figures I actually bought from the same seller off of eBay, and these are figures I was really anticipating on getting. One's definitely a rare one, and the other one is common, I guess, but even then it's also still a slightly uh, rare find. But then again, it's still a little bit more common to find compared to the other one. And these figures are Mara Jade from the Expanded Universe line from the 1990s and Power of Force 2 era. And Han Solo from the Skimmerish at Carcoon Multipack from 2004, which is a Toys of Us exclusive in the Star Wars Saga line. Now to say that this is a quick review, I'm going to have to go ahead and start off very fast with the Han Solo figure because... It's not really much of a brand new figure of this time because, of, again, it's like basically a kit badge version of two other figures. So it's going to move Mara out the way and take a look at Han Solo. So basically, this Han Solo is based on two figures, which is the Cantina Han Solo from the 1999 Power of the Force line and the Bespin Han, the Bespin Capture Han Solo from the Power of the Jedi line, knowing that the legs are in a similar posture. And that the uh, shirt is still a similar shirt from uh, A New Hope and not Return of the Jedi. Considering that this is supposed to be based off of his attire from Return of the Jedi. Especially when he came out of the Carbonite block. And again, the head sculpt is actually pretty similar to the Power of the Jedi Han Solo figure I reviewed. Which I absolutely love. But this one's... Well, you can obviously tell the difference on the paint on its eyes. That it makes it look a little weird. But even then, it's still... Pretty decent enough. Really do like the way the head sculpt is on the the figure. It's not that bad. But then again, like the only problem I have with it so far is that I was supposed to get a model that looks great, but it looks like the skin on this figure is about as pale as the Power of the Force 2 Han Solo figure that came with Job of the Hut, which I still own. So that's a kind of a negative I have, or just a nitpick because it's it's like doesn't really match up because I was expecting a figure that actually has the right amount of skin color. So he just looks like he got a little sick. I mean, that's just this particular figure I bought because there is more options I think I could find that has the right amount of skin color or I'm just thinking of a little bit in a different light because the skin color is a little different. Anyway, just don't want to go on too long. And uh, another problem I have, to, I have with this figure is that while it is a nice figure, this figure is a factor error. As you can tell, the uh, crotch plate is on backwards. If I flip it over, yep, there's your, there's the problem. Like right there to there, it's a factor error. I didn't even notice until I took a double take. <laughs> wow. And the figure came with these binders here and I guess they only fit well on the legs because I tried to put them on the arms and it can't fit all the way in. I guess these look like repacks of a different one. I had to go like, I had to go back and look at it. Okay, I look back, these kind of does look like the similar uh, binders from the Power of the Force 2 line that came with the Jabba the Hut 3D diorama set that came with an exclusive Carbonate Han Solo figure. So, um, I guess that might have been the case. But then again, these are nothing special, just painted in a different color. So to compare right away, here's that same figure I was talking about before that I reviewed years ago and I still love to this day and day. And as I said before, the head sculpt is actually similar. Like, in terms of how it looks, but of course the eye paint on both of them is a drastic difference. This one is much better, and it's much uh, more Harrison Ford-like, while this one is sort of a little uh, iffy. And even the scale of the figure is a little bit different, because as the legs are supposed to be like recasts or like brand new versions of the same legs from this figure, this figure is definitely taller and much more in scale to how he would actually be in terms of the scale. And this figure has like these legs that are somehow a little bit smaller. Like they make him feel a lot more shorter and that's just a little, and that's just a little weird. And it doesn't even help that his freaking uh, crotch is sculpted or just placed on backwards because you know, I guess even back then in Hasbro's years, they got a lot more QT issues than today. Okay, so moving on to Mara Jade. Now, she is an interesting character. In fact, I liked her character about as much as I do with Rey or any character in Star Wars that is very interesting. But this is an expanded universe character, and I'm not really huge on the expanded universe. It's pretty freaking wide variety, and like it's very huge. A lot of things and books were made in that particular thing, so I can't go too much into it. All I know is that Mara Jade is awesome. But what I also do know is that 
she uh, does not have a blue lightsaber. But then again, I think she does. It's just that in some degree, I just saw her with a, uh, you know, a pink lightsaber. I saw her with that more often than a blue one. I mean, maybe she does have a blue one. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong out there. But, and again, talking about Star Wars today is not pretty, the best thing in the world. Anyway, um, so, yeah, she's a really nice figure. I really like this. The first time I saw it, I really wanted to find it. But it was a lot more difficult to come by. From the hairstyle, color scheme, from everything in the attire, from everything that is made with this figure, it is well sculpted. I absolutely adore the way this is sculpted. It's a really nice figure. And I know they made another Mara Jade figure, but that one's even more rare than this one. And is, I think it's a little bit more difficult to come by, obviously. But this one is still a little bit easier to find, but it's still going to cost a pretty penny for it. So, yeah, I really love the way this figure is. I think the uh, eye paint could have been a little bit better. And uh, yeah, Mara J looking pretty badass here. And again, kind of wish she has the pink lightsaber, but eh, can't have everything. All right, so that's gonna be it for this review. It's just quick and straight up to the point. I bought these from the same seller on eBay for at least a decent price. I mean, this one's a little bit pricier, but it was still a lot more affordable. And that one was obviously $8. And I kind of might not get that $8 back because I have a factory error of the figure. But these two figures are still nice. I would definitely recommend picking them up, especially if you can find a good one from this figure and you can find one affordable of that figure as well. So yeah, recommend them both. Really enjoy these figures a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also stay tuned on my first channel for another Jurassic Park review. Another figure that I think y'all will be very pleased to look at. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll be seeing you guys later.